Hello YouTube, Rocky Earth Guy here. So today I'm in Centro Malaga. Now I'm gonna take a walk around the city. It's around seven o'clock right now. So loads of bars and restaurants are open. I'm standing on the corner where pizza and pasta is. Cale Casa Palma. Okay, so the sun's kind of gone down now and it's, uh, it's getting a bit darker. Lots of people out. People tend to come out in, uh, in the evenings. And I'm just walking up the street. It's called Bookshop here. Check this out. Comics. There's even one on Garfield there. How cool is that? Garfield, Garfield, Mr. Bean. Comic too. All right, let's see what else there is up here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't really have a predefined um, walk that I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you the main things. Check out this shop. I had a look in here earlier. They're selling some awesome hams. And look at that. Hola. So this place is called Yamans Salamanca. If you're in town, check this place out. Really, really cool. Look at the meats here. I wish I could take some home, but uh, might be tricky on the aeroplane. All right, let's walk down here and then I'm going to go back a bit. Just wanted to show you this cool bar. If you're in town, there is a bar here called Morrissey's Irish Bar. I just had a quick drink in there. So the town's pretty lively here. Let's see what else we can find. There's another old town sports bar here, Irish pub. It looks pretty lively. Yeah, and I think things are really picking up here tonight. There's like bars and restaurants. The thing I like about Spain though, is that you can just sit outside, watch the world go by, have a drink, and uh, bob your uncle. Okay. It's a nice hat shop there. If you need a Panama hat, this is the place to come. More restaurants. It's actually really busy here now. It's like really picked up. I was here this afternoon, but it's uh, a lot busier right now. Pepe, yeah, Pepe. Someone's gonna have to correct me on some of these names. I really don't know what they call. But uh, let's uh, let's keep on going. I think some of the prices here for tapas are pretty reasonable. Kind of five, five, six euros a dish, which is pretty good. Hopefully you guys can get an idea of the uh, prices here. Just had the uh, rugby on. Samoa versus Japan. That's finished now, full time. All right, let's continue. Quite a lot of shops are still open. Let's walk around this way. See what we can find. I've seen quite a few hen parties and stag parties going on as well, so you might see that. The local singer. Let's just go around this way. This is a pretty, pretty cool part here. I just pan around bar. You'll see this in one of my other videos, probably the first one when I was here in Malaga. I kind of shot around here. That was about three years ago, two or three years ago. It's pretty different back then. Everyone had masks on. But uh, things are a lot busier here now, that's for sure as well. Check these guys out. God, that's like me on a Monday morning. Like, it's trying to get into the office in uh, the weekly rat race. Very cool. All right, let's continue. So I'm just gonna zigzag my way around. There's another bar here, Neil McGregor, Irish pub, sports bar. That looks pretty cool. And Molita Vermont as well. So you got plenty of choice for restaurants here. That's those cool dudes. 
Oh, how do they do that? They must be sitting on something. Taberna Almetero. Looks pretty nice. Might grab a bite sweet there later. And the good thing walking about down these side streets is you always see some new restaurants here. So we've got Pampa Grill here, Argentinian restaurant. That'll be good. I'm sure they got some lovely steaks in there. And this is the Pampa Grill, part of the same restaurant as well. Al Rudo. This is traditional Spanish. And we got Santa Monica on the right hand side as well too. Very nice. Well, you're really spoiled for choice here. Sanchez. Okay. Oh. And it's still pretty early. It's only seven o'clock. So I reckon these will get a lot busier a bit later on. Should we go down there? What's up there? I don't know. I think that's where the cathedral is. Let's take a walk down there. And let's see what we can find. All right. There's loads of little cool shops here. Yeah. Need to do a bit of shopping, get some fans, maybe some postcards, sunglasses, a bit of everything really, handbags. I'm pretty sure that is the cathedral up ahead. So what I'll do, let me walk up to that bit and then we can film that bit up there. More shops. Stuck in traffic there. There we go. Let's walk around this bit here. There's a lovely smell and aroma around here. Coffee, nuts, food. Okay, now I'm pretty certain this is the cathedral up ahead. The Picasso Museum's just around the corner as well too. Uh, let's see, where am I now? Cali Molina Lario. That way, and that is the cathedral. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. This cathedral is absolutely beautiful. And what I'm going to do, I need to check what needs to be done to get tickets to this because I'm here for a few days, so it may be that. If I don't go today, I can um, maybe go. I don't think I can go today. It's too late. I think, yeah, it's, I think it's shut. Um, but I can book it for maybe Sunday or Monday. Here we go. All right, so I'm in the uh, main town square here which I also shot a few months ago. There's a really cool waterfall here. Check it out. A more restaurant. It's quite a cool area. Uh, loads of people just having like drinks and uh, chilling out here. So I think this is another cool place to come to uh, if you want to meet up with friends, family. And uh, you've got the uh, cathedral in front of you. So I'm just going to turn the camera around again. Everyone getting their selfies here. Let's do that. And there you go. A couple load of that view. It looks pretty amazing. And I will try and go there tomorrow. The cool thing is, if you look the other way, you've got these really cool, I'm not sure what these are, maybe like apartments or something along those lines. Maybe it's part of the church, I'm not sure. But uh, loads of cool restaurants here as well. That's the other side of the uh, cathedral there. <clears throat> it does seem a lot quieter on this side. All right. So I'm just in a huge town square at Cale Molina Radio. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, I think let's head back that way because there seem to be a lot of restaurants and, and bars and stuff there. <laughs> Going back into the town center. 
it's, it's pretty warm here. Even though it's seven o'clock. Um, maybe it's just me because I'm walking pretty fast. But uh, let's let's continue. It's another part of the church. Very nice. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. I think I need to go straight, straight down. Oh, I wish I brought my camera. I'll have to bring my camera next time. Uh, what's down there? Actually, let me let me go right here. But I'm kind of left up the top. <clears throat> Can't remember what's down there. Maybe it's the, uh, I know the Picasso Museum's around here somewhere. We've also got the Malaga Museum here as well. And the other car museum, which is one of the favorite museums I've been to here. It's a bit further away. I think that's a bit more of a kind of short, a um, bit more of a short cab ride or so. Although I'm gonna try and check that out at some point. Okay, here's a sign here to see you guys if you're in Malaga, you can get the bearings from those sign, signs there. And oh, actually, this is another part of the. Uh, well, this is another part of the cathedral. Oh, maybe this is the entrance here, actually. I tell you what, let's go and have a quick look so I can find out um, if I need to book tickets in advance or if I can just come along. And um, I'll uh, come here tomorrow because I don't know what the score is. So let's see what date are we open tomorrow? Four to, four to six. And um, I think I can buy tickets here. Excuse me, do, do you speak English? Yeah, do you know if you need to book tickets in advance or if you can just turn up? Okay, sure. No. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Well, uh, so tourists. Maybe you can see your tickets online. Yeah, you can take them online. Okay, and then oh, just, okay. uh, yeah, well, yeah. order them now and then. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah, let's. Um, what I'll do is uh, looks like the cathedral is open tomorrow from two o'clock to six o'clock, 1400 to 1600. You need to book it online first, but if you just rock on up, you can book it and then choose a the time to enter. Although I think they're limiting the uh, time that people are entering. So um, just so you know, if you're thinking of coming here, what I'll do is probably come back uh, tomorrow and then pre-book it in advance. Okay, well worth the visit. I haven't been here before, so uh, I will check that out. Okay, let's carry on. But, uh, look at these ceramics. Oh my God, these are so cool. Beautiful artwork here. And there's some artwork in there as well too. Okay, I don't actually know if I'm not filming here, so I better just uh, skedaddle out of there. Okay. And the thing I like about Malaga Centre is look at all the history here. You got all the beautiful architecture up there. Look at those apartments, they look stunning. And you get a real sense of the history, Spanish culture, Spanish life, walking around a place like this. And uh, they look awesome. I need to, I need to get one of those, I think, next time I'm here. There's a cafeteria here and um, let's uh, just continue around. More shops. Let's see what this is. This looks like some kind of sweet shop or something. What's this guy making? Oh, it's nuts. Okay, if you like your nuts, almonds, walnuts, they've got a bit of everything in there. All right, okay. And I'm in a different town square here. I'm not sure where I am. Like, pretty got lost. Um, 
I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the restaurant here, Vittoria. Oh, actually, I have been here before. Oh, I know where we are. This is the, uh, I think this is the entrance or the exit to the Picasso Museum. Uh, it's here, I think. There you go, here's the guy. But it's probably shut. Is there anyone here? Hello. Hola, you're closed now. The museum's open. Uh, do I need to book in advance if I wanted to visit the museum? Uh, do I need to book online? No, no, uh, do I need to book it online on the internet uh, to come here tomorrow? It's free. Okay, all right, okay, all right. I'll... 2 p.m. Yeah, uh, 2 p.m. close. Okay, maybe I come at 11 then in the morning. All right, gracias, thank you. Okay, so uh, if you're on a bit of a budget, you need to save some cash, come on a Sunday. Uh, but it, as you may have heard, the guy did say it closes at 2 p.m. So uh, just be mindful of that. Um, he didn't say how much it is, but it is open now, which is weird, because it's 7.20. Anyways, um, it's well worth a visit. I've been before, but you can't film in there. So uh, I got told off for filming in there. Um, but let's carry on. Okay, so let's go down here. See what we can find. Okay, looks like another area. I think this is the, yes, it's the Museum of Malaga. And this is a great place as well. Really enjoyed. Before we go there is LA Hop, one of my favorite shops. And look at all the cool stuff they got in there. It's part of Halloween. How cool is that? And there's the famous cow, LA Hop cow. There you go. Brilliant shop, great value for money. All right, so this is the Museum of Malaga and um, let me go and have a quick look actually because it may be that this is also open tomorrow. I have no idea. Let's see if I can find out, but I think the entrance is around the other side. Let's go and have a look at the sign. But this is it. This is on the other side. Actually, I did a video where uh, I go to the Alcazabar and uh, I come back, actually leave from this part and then walk the other way around. Sundays open public holidays and Mondays before public holidays, 9 to 3 p.m. Okay, so is it, but it's closed on Mondays. Tuesday, Saturdays open 9 to 9. Okay. This area now is where the entrance to the Alcazabar, Pietro Romano. Okay, it's what you do, you walk up there and then off you go. Now, I don't know if the, uh, I don't know if this, uh, I don't know if this is uh, bookable in advance. You probably can. I will check tonight and book it. It is open. And that was an awesome trip. I spent a good couple of hours just walking around one of my other videos check it out i'm walking up the steps i'm not going to go in i'm going to go straight so i can then go and check out the amphitheater all right but here's one tamburi Rivera's alcazabar there he is in all his glory wonderful okay so if you just walk up the stairs and then carry on straight, you'll end up in the amphitheater, the Roman amphitheater. That part should be free, so I should just be able to go up there and then go straight in. I can show you that. And then what I'll do for the Alcazabar, probably come back tomorrow and uh, check it out then. Okay, let's go up. 
And I've got to say, you've got to be mildly fit if you're going to walk around here. All right, mildly fit. Is it open? Oh no, it's not shut. There's the prices though. It's like the three, 350 euros. Depending if you're on a group or um, if you're a younger citizen or an elder one, but that's the exit, I think. Okay, let's just go into this bit. Well, this looks different. I don't think they had these pebbly things here. I was here last time. This is the Roman amphitheater in Malaga. Look at that. That's cool. Well, that was shut as well. All right, never mind. Oh, maybe that closed when they closed the other bit down. Um, but that is the Roman amphitheatre. Uh, I'll probably get a better view of it tomorrow. And there's the Alcazabar up the top. And uh, this is a pretty cool place to come and visit when you're in Malaga. And uh, I can only imagine all the concerts and shows that have gone on here. Probably gladiator shows as well. And that is a cool part of Malaga's history. So uh, do check that out if you're here. As I said, I'll, uh, I'll try and come back tomorrow and then uh, we can check out a bit more of it. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna tilt lock the camera and let's carry on back down. So that bit is open up to the point they shut the gate. So I'd say probably get here a bit earlier than seven, probably five or six, and then you can see that bit too. Um, some people are still coming out of the Alcazabar. But imagine they'll shut the gates on that soon as well. I don't think it'll be open until too late. And if you do visit, make sure you leave before they shut the gates. You don't want to get yourself locked in there, do you? You have to sleep in the Alcazabar all night. What well, not good. All right. Right, let's take my sunglasses off. It's getting quite, quite dark here. Right, cool. Right, let's go. Uh, where should we go? Let's go, uh, let's go right. And uh, let's see what we find out. If you go left that way, you'll, uh, you can cross the main road and then you've got the whole marina side where uh, it leads to some bars and restaurants. And then if you walk around, you've got some shopping there, some cool designer shops. And then if you go onto the other side, you've got the beach. So maybe I'll do that bit tomorrow but uh, let's carry on and do Malaga Central. Okay, well, here, here's a ha handy map, actually. This has got everything you need. And where are we? I would say we are about there, where it's been scratched off. If you can see that. Uh, so quite a bit to see around here. Lots of history. There's a port. There's a port bit down there that I was just telling you about. And then there's the beach on the other side. So I'll do that tomorrow in the morning, uh, which I completely miss the first time, first couple of times I've been here. And then there's the Alcazabar up the top of the hill. Um, you can walk it. I don't think you can get a cab. Can you get a cab up there? I think I got a cab up there last time, didn't I? I can't remember. Okay. I think it's walkable though. Let's continue. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And it looks like it's on multiple levels. They probably had all the workers and people underground, all the gladiators before they came out. Maybe some animals too. And then uh, you can see the main platform 
here. So probably, probably hold a few hundred people here, I imagine. Right, we're walking around. I just want to show the amphitheater one more time. Let's just get it from this angle. Look at that. The stand in there. All right. Let's go. Let's turn right. No idea where right goes, but let's let's go anyway. Yeah, Alcazar oh, Bar. What's down there? I think there's just some restaurants down this bit. Let's have a quick look. I think it's 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 a no through road area thing, but there are some cool restaurants here. El Bimpi, this statue guy. Look out for him. And you know where El Bimpi is. It's pretty busy here. And uh, there's a couple of other restaurants here as part of El Bimpi as well. And uh, Sol de Bimpi, it's like a whole area of like Bimpi here restaurant stuff okay but check it out so let's walk around There's another restaurant here seafood pizza Baya restaurant flavors of spain what my street i'd say all right let's continue Tapas bar tapas and uh, if you need some home comforts you've got Burger King here as well. Okay folks that was a quick whirlwind tour of Malaga Central. We saw the main sights and sounds so if you're ever in town you know what to go and see where and uh, you know where to eat. Enjoy the place with friends. So uh, I think I'm going to sign out here and uh, check out some more videos coming your way soon. Cheers.